Alex, when I first heard about multiple universes several decades ago, it was wild speculation, but just electrifying in, in what it meant in terms of the expansion of reality. Today, multiple universes are the standard model. Uh, you've been a key player in making this happen. Walk me through this history and, and where we are today. Uh, well, uh, by multiple universes, uh, you could possibly mean different things. Uh, one uh, way of thinking about what the universe is is all we can observe, and that's rather limited, because light had time to get us from the Big Bang, only from a limited mm -hmm. region of space. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you call that a universe, then we are pretty sure that beyond that, other regions like that, <laughs> similar to that, exist. So in this sense, it is pretty uncontroversial to say that mm -hmm. there are multiple universes. Mm -hmm. However, uh, the theory of inflation uh, brought with it a new concept of um, multiple universes. Uh, there is the, the idea of inflation is that there is this uh, period of extremely rapid expansion in the early history of the universe. And when you work out this theory, you find that um, uh, inflation, which ended in our region of space, creating this uh, stuff that we see with galaxies, stars, and so forth, did not end everywhere at once. There are other uh, outside kind of big bubble that we inhabit, there, are, there is still inflation continuing and forming new and new bubbles all the time, and the space between these bubbles is expanding very fast, uh, making room for new bubbles to form. And these bubbles expand at speed approaching the speed of light, so we cannot possibly travel to other bubbles. For all practical purposes, each of these uh, inflationary bubbles is a separate self-contained universe. And they can, in principle, have different physical properties. So what you're saying is that with the inflation that you believe is necessary in this universe, what we see, to explain the properties of this universe, uniformity, etc., that that process that you need, by virtue of, of, of its characteristics, must be happening again and again. That's right. It might, must be happening even at this time uh, outside our, mm -hmm. our bubble. So it's not must, maybe a little <laughs> stronger word that I would use, but uh, if you try to avoid this, yeah. you kind of mutilate the theory. So it's uh, the natural consequence of inflation is the existence of this multiverse mm -hmm. in this sense. And, and so what are the implications of that, that there is a multiverse? I mean, how, how many other universes? It's kind of a naive question, but I, I, I want to... See how you do it. I mean, how, how many are there? How, how, do you, how do you even put a number on it? Um, uh, well, uh, the uh, inflation by uh, this process of inflation with creation of new bubbles is eternal to the future. So there will be an unlimited number of bubbles formed in the course of inflation. And is it happening ex exponentially and increasing, where each bubble then has its own bubbles, and so it's an exponential increase, or is it a linear increase? It is an exponential increase, both because each bubble creates new bubbles within it in due course, but also because the space between the uh, bubbles increases exponentially and the total amount of space grows. Right. Right, so, so you have a, a double exponential increase. No, it is just exponential. Mathematically, okay. the number of bubbles grows. Okay, that's, that's uh, big enough. <laughs> uh, right. It grows exponentially. Mm. And, and so as you look uh, at this vast ensemble of, of universes, can, can you begin to characterize them? Uh, uh, obviously, one is like ours. <laughs> that, that, that's the, that's right. the thing we know for sure. Uh, what can you say about the others? Uh, well, that, that depends on uh, the underlying uh, fundamental uh, particle physics model. And um, for that, we, we have some candidates, like we have string theory, which is probably the most promising candidate at this time. But uh, we don't really have solid evidence for any of these theories. So in principle, it is conceivable that all bubbles have similar mm -hmm. physical properties mm -hmm. to, other, to ours. This would not contradict anything that we know. So that's, it's, it's interesting. So that you, what you're doing is, is the theory of inflation deals with the structure of the universe 
and and you can make and makes the claim that there are other bubble universes, but it doesn't within itself make the claim of, of what the character of those universes is. That right. depends on the underlying particle physics, which is a, a different field and has its own suggestions. Right. Inflation has the property that it will produce uh, the bubbles with uh, all possible physical characteristics. So if you have a, your fundamental physics model, it gives you the landscape of, poss of possibilities of different types of environments, of vacua, as we say, that you can have. And inflation will produce bubbles with all these properties. So it will, it will explore the entire landscape of the fundamental theory. Why is that? Why, why can you say that inflation explores the landscape? Why not just explore the particular one that we have now? Because that's the data point that we know. Uh, well, it is because uh, these, uh, uh, the transitions between these different vacua occur through quantum tunneling. Mm -hmm. So we are located in some minimum of the energy uh, of this landscape. And uh, there are other minima, and uh, quantum mechanics allows you to tunnel from, through energy barriers to other minima. Moreover, quantum mechanics tells us uh, that if uh, the transition between these two minima is not absolutely forbidden by some conservation law, um, uh, then it is inevitably happening. So basically it is, the answer is that quantum mechanics uh, tells us that uh, all possible transitions will happen between all the possible states. And if inflation is giving you an exponential increase in the number of universes, eventually, whatever that may mean, you're going to explore all those possibilities. That's right.